Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprite, ook mijn gloed nieuwe aflevering van Professor Layton Mystery Journey. Eigenlijk is het gewoon een Layton's Mystery Journey, maar ik maak er nu gewoon Professor Layton's Mystery Journey van. Want Catriel is ook een soort van een professor. Er zijn hier wel veel te veel katten, ik krijg een beetje Omber Vibes. Krijgen jullie ook Omber Vibes? Ik in ieder geval wel. Oké, okay, Bitta, vertel mij. Waar is je Kitty Cat? So, madam, perhaps you could tell us what uh, is... That you look like to us to do, Jezus. Nou, dat is een goed begin van de aflevering, vinden jullie ook niet? Naturally, that was the whole reason why I asked you here. It's really quite simple. My poor Rex vanished uh, yesterday. You see, you simply have to find him for me. I see, and this Rex is Rexy Waxy, you mentioned before, I presume. Yes, my beloved pet. Oh no, Rexy Waxy is so much more than a pet. He's family, I tell you. Uh, and you say Rexy Waxy vanished? Uh, that's right. Oh, it's too awful. I've looked everywhere for him, but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, Rexy Waxy, where have you gone? It's a mystery, Miss Layton. A complete mystery. mystery. Please don't trouble yourself, madam. When uh, I investigate, I'll leave no stern stone unturned. We will find him. Gosh, a member of the family is missing. How terrible for you. Uh, we'll track down Rex without a moment's delay. Oh, please do. I'm simply beside myself with worry. So, madam, I'd like to ask you a few questions about them. your missing pet, if I may. Yes, of course. I shall do anything uh, I can do uh, to assist. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Look at the time. I'm terribly sorry, but I have a luncheon engage engagement. Dear me, my appetite isn't up too much at the moment. But uh, but one must keep up appearances, no matter what. Mm, uh, just just a moment, please, madam. I would naturally assist you if in the search if I could. Uh, but these business luncheons are quite unavoidable. Avoidable. Still, I'm confident I can rely on you. You'll find my Rexy Waxy for me, won't you? Now, do excuse me. Well, the great dame uh, really uh, gave us a lot to go on, uh, on there, didn't she? Yes, the creature's name is about all she's actually told us. This is going to be a challenge. No clues, no nothing. Well, it's far from ideal, but uh, we'll just have to work with what we have. What we have? We have nothing but a name! There's no such thing as an easy job, Cheryl. Um, so, where do we start, detective? You're still on that, are you? Alright then, we start, yes, we start right here, in this room. The foundation uh, of all good detective work is investigation. We need to sniff out information about Rexy Waxy. Hey, een vet coole puzzel. There's uh, another cat toy uh, here as well. They're everywhere. Oh, that reminded me of a puzzle now about cats. Okay. Purdy cat. Okay. These ten cats need to be divided up into pairs. Okay, 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 okay. In uh, accordance with the following rules. There should be a three pairs of cats of the same type. In other words, the same shape and coloring. Okay. If a cat is wearing a ribbon, the other cat in the pair must also be wearing a ribbon. Okay. Move the cats by sliding them uh, to other cats. Positions and swapping them over. Okay. Uh, there should be three pairs of cats of the same type. In other words, the same shape and coloring. Dit kan niet samen. Die zijn hetzelfde, die zijn hetzelfde. Wacht, kunnen jullie het zien? Nog niet. Wacht. Doe even zo. Deze zijn hetzelfde, deze zijn hetzelfde. Deze. Oh, 
En deze aan hetzelfde. Uh, deze twee hebben een ribbon en deze hebben allebei geen ribbon. Dus dit moet goed zijn. Easy winning. Very good, Cheryl. Okay. So in the most prominent position at the center of the room, we have a large bunch of flowers and a soft koi cat. A to koi cat. Toy cat. Which just goes to show how much he adores cats, Shirley. Hmm, a cat lover. Madame is very busy, you know, every single day. Yes, as a matter of interest, what line of business is she in? Oh, Madame is a consultant to a multinational retailer with 27 different departments selling everything from cat food to inspect, inspect expensive ju jewelry. Jesus, moeilijk. Gosh, that's a broad range. Yes, so she really treasures her time with Rex, you see. Uh, he's such a shooting influence on her. Finding Rex would uh, soothe me too uh, at the moment, believe me. That, des that desk looks like an antique. It's rather understated, but I expect it's worth a small fortune. And let's not forget the obvious, it's whopping great stuffed cats sitting on it. It's cute, isn't it? I wish I had one. Cute? Really? I think so, don't you? Oh yes, of course. Uh, though it could never rival you, Miss Naturally. Wow. It's strange though. Cats are unusually very destructive creatures. But there are no signs of scratching or gnawing on any of the toys. Hmm, no claw marks and no teeth marks? Ah, so Rexy Waxy is an upper crust kind of cat. Scratching and gnawing are beneath him. Oh, jolly good, Cheryl. You're uh, uh, like a real detective. Like a ring, Cheryl. Hmm, well, I think we've explored the hallway here enough, don't you? Madame Dubly uh, certainly has a lot of cat toys around the place, that's for sure. Yes, gosh, if she uh, if she's this this much of a cat lover, Rex must be spoiled rotten. This not such of a deduction, but I suppose that's about the only tale the room tells. Well, Cheryl, do you know where Rex is then? We've looked at the, uh, at the table and the desk and she's asking me if I know where the cat is. I think we're going to have to broaden our search. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack though. The mansion is simply fast. Uh, where do we start? Mm, excuse me, um, detectives? I hope you don't mind uh, me interrupting. Madam uh, did say she was happy uh, for you to look around the residence if it could be of any help. Oh, thank you very much. I wonder, um, could you tell uh, us which room Rex spends the most of his time in? Yes, of course. That would be Madam's parlor. Um, it gets a lot of sun, you see. Rex always enjoys napping in the sunshine. I see. We'd like to investigate the room, if you may. Although I imagine it's been uh, cleaned and made up since Rex's appearance, has it, has it? Oh no, miss. Madam is very clear on that. You must leave the scene completely undisturbed, she said. Perfect. Could you uh, show us uh, the way then? Certainly, miss. Follow me. Een poesje mouw, kom eens gauw. Lekker, man. This is Madam Parlor's a par Madam's Parlor. As I explained, she did say she wouldn't mind if you need it uh, to look around. I must only ask that you be careful uh, of the furniture and ornaments. It's all very expensive, you see. Gosh, my palms are sweaty just hearing you say that. Oh yes, one more thing. There's actually a picture of Rex in uh, here which might help you. Just over uh, the left there. Do you see? It's a gore cat. So that's what we're looking for. 
You know that Rex is a boy, I presume? Yes, we realized that, thank you. I hate it when, it, uh, when he goes missing. I do hope you find him quickly. Don't worry, this case is in, in safe hands with myself and my detective assistant agent Cheryl here. Cheryl, miss? Is that short for, short for Shirley? Uh, no, actually, Cheryl is my dog's name, and he's a he. Oh, how interesting! Your dad is a detective as well? Well, um, Cheryl, I, uh, I hope you find Rex soon. He's very special, you see? Woof. Ah, pretending to be a normal dog for a maid's benefit, are you? Uh, how considerate are you? Hmm. So then, let's see what we can discover in this room. Isn't it a lovely space? It's so warm and inviting. I've got my eye on one of those plush sofas myself. Hmm, this is where Rex spends most of its time. Which, me uh, which means I could very well discover an important clue in here. Um, that will lead us to the missing animal's whereabouts. So get on with it, Cheryl. Go, boy, go find a clue. Okay. Weet je wat mij meteen opviel? Die is hetzelfde als in de andere kamer. En deze ook. Oeh, we gaan zoomen. Is it just me or does anyone else think this plant looks like it's been eaten? Hmm, I wonder uh, why there could be thief marks in a plant like this. Oh well, uh, I think you will find that while cats are carnivorous creatures, they also do at times eat plants. So I expect this is Rex's doing. Really? Cats eat plants? Why would they do that? To help them regurgate hairs and other unwanted things in their stomachs. Or for nutrients, um, there are numerous the theories, although I'm not uh, entirely sure they normally eat this kind of plant. Okay. Oh, in fashion ring. Oh, we can also in zooming. Bananas? Watch where you're treading, Ernest. There are some banana skins on the floor there. Gosh, you're right. I would probably have fallen flat on my face if you hadn't warned me, Cheryl. You wouldn't expect to find banana skins left lying around in, this, in a place like this, would you? No, it's a little unexpected, but it seems reasonably to assume that someone ate some bananas and dropped the skins here. Presumably Madame Dubly, seeing at this is her parlor. Another woman who can't be bothered by tidying up after herself. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not that bad, Cheryl. I don't leave banana skins lying around. Hey, there's well a clue, blijkbaar. Lekkering. Ik wil zo'n lekkering knop. Dat ik Nando's lekkering krijg. Had dit beest niet gewoon honger? There are some rather exotic looking fruits here. Though some appear to have been nibbled at. Presumably Rex is doing? Because cats are so well known for eating fruit, aren't they, pinstripes? Maybe if it was a bowl of fish. Perhaps Madame Dublis was, uh, Dublis was hungry and couldn't resist taking a bite. Because well-to-do ladies are so well known for their lousy manners. Come on, people. Well, can you be certain it wasn't her? Not certain, no, but I think uh, it's safe to assume it wasn't her. I mean, I'm pretty sure, probably. This cat looks like it's putting on ears. Oh, I think it's champion. Uh, such this uh, defa... Ne, da... Din, 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 Look. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
There's a photograph of a strange bookcase uh, where up and down don't seem to make sense. Okay. Try to arrange the books um, as in the picture. What is the minimum number that would need to be glued to the bookcase uh, to keep them in position? Okay. You can't squash books into place by jamming them close together, by the way. Okay. Ik denk dat het antwoord al weet. Ik denk dat het twee is. Want als je van deze kant zou kijken, dus als je, als, als je hem een kwartslag draait, zeg maar, dan staan die allemaal op de grond, staan die allemaal op de grond, die ook, en deze twee hangen dan. Ik denk dat dat het antwoord is. Volgens mij ben ik zo'n slim. Oh, ik ben blijkbaar niet dan te slim. Dat is zeer jammer. Eentje. Als je deze, alleen deze vastplakt, dan blijft deze natuurlijk zweven. Uh, dan kan je die daar gewoon opstapelen. Natuurlijk. Oh mijn god, ik ben... Ik was fucking slim. Oh. Ik was zo confident. Maat. Ja, dat heb ik. Kijk. Uh, als je zeg maar zo kijkt, dan, dan staan die allemaal op elkaar. Staan die op elkaar. Dan is deze vastgeplakt en dan ligt die daarop. En deze staan allemaal op elkaar. Oh mijn god. Als je hem helemaal legt, kan je hem allemaal zo neerzetten. Oh mijn god. Wauw. There, I solved it. Should I write an answer in this book here? Oh yes, the face Madame Bleblee's book. I'm sure she would be delighted with that. And you're right. Puzzles are no fun. Why don't uh, if you don't work out the answer for yourself? Ja, want dat was wat hij bedoelde. Oké, okay, wat heeft deze bitta nog te vertellen? Remember, if you'd like to see the picture of Rex, it's just over here. Oh, we moeten hier die hebben of is het? nee, die hebben we al bekeken. We hebben een stukje nog niet. Onderzocht. Moet nog een keer naar die spiegel kijken of naar die foto kijken? Nee, toch? Nee, dat hebben we al gedaan. Oké. Okay. Ja, dit moest nog. Oké. Okay. Oh ja, daar hij is uh, op een kiertje. Hmm, the French doors looking out over the garden are ajar. Yes, uh, the lock doesn't close properly. A gentle push and the door pops open. Well, don't you have to be Cheryl O.C. Holmes? Wow. Uh, to work out that what that means, obviously there's a good chance Rex escaped this way. Got in coke. Smarty pantsing the hunt. So, uh, how's the case shaping up, Cheryl? Have you managed to deduce where uh, we'll find Rex now? Well, it's not exactly a lot to go on, is it? And op uh, an open door and some banana skins. But uh, if I had to deduce the missing cat's whereabouts from, an, uh, from the available evidence, I would have to say, um, ah, yes, Cheryl. Hmm, I would have to say, um, aha, that Rex slipped on the banana skin and flew straight out of the open door, Tuurlijk. Uh, which means Rex is in the garden. Brilliant, Cheryl, a great deduction based on what we know so far. We should go and search the garden at once. How's that then, cat? I'm earning my keep, uh, my keep now, aren't I? 
Well, I certainly agree that we should go investigate the garden. Come along. En de garden investigaten doen wij de volgende aflevering. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.